Now I'm sure today's video is gonna rile some people up, but are you living in a productivity fantasy? Picture this, you fire up Cursor, you start chatting with Claude, and you feel like you're coding at superhuman speed. The AI is cranking out functions, fixing bugs, writing tests. You're thinking, this is it, I'm unstoppable. But what if I told you that that feeling is actually a complete illusion? What if the very tools that make you feel like you're a coding wizard are actually making you slower? What if every developer who swears by AI assistance is trapped in the same productivity mirage? So there's a groundbreaking study that just dropped that challenges everything we thought we knew about AI coding tools. And I'm sure I can already hear the AI lovers out there yelling at me that I'm wrong. And as always, make sure you leave a comment down below if you disagree, because I'd love to have a great discussion, but we're going to dive into this today. This is a report from Meter, right? And it says we random randomized controlled trial to see how much AI coding tools sped up experienced open source developers. The result surprised us. Developers thought they were 20% faster with AI tools, but they were actually 19% slower when they had access to AI than when they didn't. And they go through and they break this down. They said, we recruited 16 experienced open source developers to work on 246 real tasks in their own repositories. We randomly assigned each task to either allow AI or to disallow AI. At the beginning of the study, developers forecasted they would get sped up by 24%. After actually doing the work, they estimated that they had been sped up by 20%, but it turns out they were actually 19% slower. We were, we were surprised by this, given one, impressive AI benchmark scores. So it actually said the AI was doing well in this study, right? But uh, they said, but two, widespread adoption of AI tools and and see our own research uh, measuring trends, right? When AI is allowed, developers spend less time actually coding and searching for information and instead spend time prompting AI, waiting on reviewing AI outputs and idle. We find no serial reason for the slowdown it is driven by a combination of factors. So they go through and break down the fact that now they're reviewing the output. They're, so it, whereas instead, if you just jump in and write the code yourself, they find that it's actually faster. So they break all of this down and, and they go through all of it and they're not saying that you shouldn't be using AI, right? Because as we all know, part of this is that it's gonna take humans to review this, right? So it's an interesting point. And so they, uh, they said, we're exploring running experiments with this on other settings, but they give the paper and they give the whole research, right? Now there's some other breakdowns to this, but this is really, you know, both the, um, the part that they're really feeling. And they, they quote Simon Willison here, who's one of the best people to report on this, right? And he says, the response of the paper to us has really demonstrated that people are very disparate and hungry for good information about the impact of AI in the wild. He says, it feels very credible, Simon Willison says, the CC creator of Dango web framework and a regular user of AI tools. While well, I acknowledge that the study's sample size, right, it is kind of a small sample size, but, um, but he said that he found that, it that the paper itself was very accurate. Now, I thought this was really interesting too, because ultimately what they're really running down to is this, and this wasn't done like multiple years ago, because I hear a lot of people being like, oh, but it's already improved since then. All right, all right, all right. They didn't just ask people if they felt more productive. They didn't use some toy project that a high school intern could solve. They went into the real world, right? These were real world projects. So I don't know if you noticed that the projects that they were using here to run this test, right? They, cause they talked about them here. They said that the average was 22,000 stars with a million lines of code. So these were good sized projects and these were ones that were liked. So these weren't bad projects, right? Now they took, and it goes, this article goes through to talk about it, but 19% slower, right? Now, you know, Jensen Huang, you know, is talking about here and he's said for a while now that he says, look, Remember, AI is not gonna replace your AI jobs, right? But it's someone who knows how to use it and might. What I mean by that and is, then, you know, as we go on, you know, I'll look at some of these other articles that we have about this, but the study was really interesting because this wasn't a disparate study. This was a very, you know, peer reviewed, like this was a real study. But the study found that experienced developers with deep knowledge of their code base actually performed added. better so just sitting down or writing the code. So what does that tell us, right? Milan Milovic, Milanovic, a CTO with over 20 years of experience, notes that seasoned developers and knew their code bases inside and out, working on million line so repositories it's a, it's with an, years of accumulated a, complexity, boost, right? Actually. When you understand the architecture, um, just, architectural decision, the historical on, context, know, and the intricate like dependencies, AI suggestions often feel shallow and misguided. Uh, so kind of let me break that down a little bit. 
what uh, Milosevic is talking about here is he's saying that because they went to seasoned developers who knew their code bases, right? So a junior developer who lacks this deep con context might actually benefit more from AI. However, because they're junior, a lot of times they will miss a lot of the things that a senior won't with bad outputs, with how to frame it, with how to build scaffolding and everything you need to to get AI. So it's tough counterbalance, right? And it seems counterintuitive. The more experience you have, the less helpful current AI tools become. However, they've also found that those with more uh, a, more, ex, more experience have a better chance of setting up the AI tools. So the study reveals that developers spend much more time prompting AI and waiting for a response than actually just sitting down writing the code. And I believe this because a lot of like auto prompt or auto connect, auto correct and auto prompt tools coming out of Visual Studio are getting or and out of other tools. VS Code seems to be like what most people are using nowadays. That is, um, uh, I use Visual Studio Code or VS, uh, the full Visual Studios because we largely build with .NET. So we're usually, usually using Visual Studio. Uh, my front end developers use VS Code, but in general, uh, most of my teams are using Visual Studio, the full suite. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As your fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcounts. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI-powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer.